Welcome back to Let's Play. As the Extreme of the GBA, Mercury City is what we're coming up to now. It's told that we will have rail slides here in this race. That's not going to happen, I assure you. But let's see what this place actually looks like. I didn't realize how many tracks are in the USA in this like, circuit. This is like the third one, isn't it? Oh, okay, here we go. I was about to say, this doesn't feel like a city. Yeah. Oh no! Oh man, I've I've incited the wrath of JP. Excellent. Okay, here we go. So first time doing a race in a week, so let's see how this turns out. I'm gonna try to. Uh... Well, why is it lighter under the bridge and stuff darker? There you go. Damn. Alright, I might be able to recover anyways. I don't, you don't need to be so flawless like you might have to be. Oh wow, I actually still have, could have pulled off an uber trick there. That would be really weird. I've been mentally conditioned to think that I can't do an uber trick after a wipeout. So I didn't even try. Much better. I just want to pull off a couple more per tricks so I can get tricky, like max or infant boost that is, and we can go from there. Tricky. Tricky. Ah, come on, tricky. and now I need lockdown, lockdown please, there we go. Excellent. And this one more and we'll be good. Man, Simon really pulled out of the pack, didn't he? Shoo, where is he? Alright, well, we should have a little bit of time left before race is over, so let's get going. Let's find that dude wherever he is. Nice. Hey, dude. You don't really look like he fell down, but I'll take it. Alright, speed. Up to a whopping 88 miles per hour! Look at that. I travel in time. Alright. So yeah, apparently those speed boosts actually do give you additional speed beyond what you can pull off with your own boost. Because I'm holding boost down right now and only because I think what was 74. Yeah. So you go a little bit fast with the speed power up. A little victory hop. No problem. Crush the best time. Yeah, I know what I'm doing with the races at least. I miss being able to like move forwards and backwards on the start gate like you can in the console version. That was always so fun to do. go. It still creeps me out that you always have the same opponents in these races. I mean, it's not really how multiple heats works. Like, there's no qualifier if everyone's always in every single round. They're not qualifiers, though. I don't care, I'm gonna bump into Simon. I'm almost surprised this game even has collisions for things like that. Oh, hey, JP, I forgot you were here. Yeah, I'm a lot better actually pulling off air on the jumps now than I used to be, though. I used to have a lot of trouble actually jumping in time at all. Because the timing's not totally intuitive. You need to jump a little bit earlier than you would think. Now, once I return to actual SSX Tricky on the console, whatever that ends up happening to be. I'm gonna be in the habit of always jumping really early. Bye, JP. Because of this game. I don't know, this game feel like the feel of playing this game is not the feel of playing an SSX game, I'll say that much, which is probably obvious. I love this. I love the visual effect of just like white dots all over the screen to emulate snow. 
This is actually, honestly, pretty decent 3D on the GBA, though, I'll say that much. Like, I don't think this is a terrible game. It's not that fun, all in all, but it's actually nice in some respects. Back in time. Sure. Such a bright tunnel. Ow. And now we just kind of do as we wish. I, which I suppose is actually pretty reflective of the console version too. Just get infinite boost and then it boosts your way on through. Except there's a lot less to pay attention to in this game. Once you have infinite boost, then you just kind of go on and on and on holding the boost button and doing mostly nothing else. Aside from current turning a little bit occasionally. Man, I've destroyed the best times on here. I'll take it. Why does everyone start out faster than me? Oh, because I have the worst stats, that's why. <laughs> Everyone does seem to actually go faster than you on the uh, final heat, I've noticed. Which is why I usually have a really hard time starting out on these hoots. Leave me be, I got stuck on her. There you go. I like how you can knock him down multiple times. There we go. Alright, so I'm not going to do as well as I did last time because I'm not going to get tricky as quickly. Or, uh, think boost as quickly. So I got a bit of a late start on the tricks. But I'll get eventually. That was a really late jump. Shoo! I have tons of air off of that. I don't really care if I get go slow on jump, though. As you can see, as I'm doing here. Since... Once again, infinite boost, everything's okay. Tricky. 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 Made a very poor assumption there. Might as well have some style. Uh, I kind of assumed wrongly that I'd be able to, uh... Come on, Kiori. Gonna try to catch up to her by taking the inside of the turn. And not jumping. Come on! Oh, she is bringing me up to her. There we go. Yeah, I'm not so. What the? Why'd I get no air on that? Like, I even made a jumping noise. I totally jumped. Alright, get going, dude. I'm not gonna try on that one actually. I am just gonna zoom on forward from here. I think the end is in sight, metaphorically speaking. Okay, maybe not. Hopefully that last trip wasn't a mistake. Can I boost to the end? Okay, cool. Yeah, slowest lap, but whatever. Lap? Whatever. You wanna call it? Megaplex, Tokyo, nice. Yeah, worst time. Oh well. It's because that AI. Or rather, not quite AI, but everyone just mysteriously going faster. Anyways, so that wasn't a very tough place to do well on. I don't think in terms of tricks and whatnot, but let's see if it's any harder from this perspective. I don't know how points are really exciting to get in terms of whether it's a lot or not. Although it's a pretty big number. Whoa! I just kind of like went down magnetically. Yeah, I'd like to go off to the right and win the rail blues. Yeah, so the number is pretty big. But I don't know how many multipliers I'm going to have and whatnot. So I might have a lot of opportunity available to me. That I didn't have in other tracks. So it might not be so bad. 
Really? No uh, multiplier on that rail? I felt like there would be one. I felt like that rail going so high into the sky should have had some kind of like grand finale to it. In the form of a multiplier or something similar. Okay. Yeah, if you could get that multiplier in the land on this rail, that'd be really tough, but if you could, that'd be amazing. Get tons of points off of that. Try to see if there's a five times multiplier somewhere and then. Eh, whatever. I have to say, I saved my uh, signature Uber for my f for a five times multiplier if I could find one, because that would give me uh, 50,000 points. Your two normal Ubers, quote unquote, only give you 8,000, it seems like, as a base score before any decay sets in. And then your signature Uber actually gives you 10,000. Oh, that was actually nice air. How'd that happen? Didn't expect that. Nope, it's over. Oh. Also, I was using boost as I was on the ground. That's awesome. Either as I was, like, eating snow. I was still... Oh, well, actually, no, it's probably because I fell and... That makes you lose boost. I thought I was holding the boost button as that happened incidentally, so I thought I was accidentally using it while on the ground. It's not reflective of reality. Yeah, so this is what I was saving my signature for. That's just about 50,000 for that one. Yeah, see that? was a ridiculous amount of points that I got for that. Like, I'm set, basically. Because of that. And I, I ate snow at one point, but... Yeah, this is still a pretty good run. Right, no, no, it's not. Crap. Screw me, for some reason I thought that 200,000 was the gold. I was getting a little too cocky, apparently. Well, let's see how I can actually pull from here, then, because at this point I don't know, then. So I have a long way to go. Could be pretty close if I managed to... Get a multiplier like that. It's gonna be close. Oh shoot, okay, good. Last moment. <laughs> Barely. Okay. I'll take it. Brody! Okay. Whoa, wait. Why isn't the high score actually normally the high scores are above gold, not like at gold. Okay, whatever. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. Let's play S6 Tricky for the GBA. Huh. I so far, they really don't actually count how many Uber tricks you did. Anyways. So we have all the characters available to us now. Including the... Seriously, Brody is maxed out. I mean, Simon's pretty close to that, too. Shoo. Of course he's... <laughs> if, if Simon's gonna be lacking in anything, it's stability. Of course it is. <laughs> Very appropriate. Anyways, though, so we still have a little bit left to tackle with Eddie. With the, which is gonna be the Megaplex. I think that's probably gonna. That might be the last of the game, actually. I'm not sure, but we'll have to find out on our own. So, see you guys next time. Next episode, let's play SSX Tricky for the GBA. We take on the Megaplex. With terrible stats. But you know what? We've made it work so far. We're gonna keep doing it. See you guys.